The end is near. Last week I watched Terminator 2 and it scared the shit out of me. I was like, bro, we are so close to Terminators coming and terminating our day. They are literally around the corner about to goodbye, friend, and snapping people's necks. And then I basically had a dream where humans were robots. It was really confusing. And I found out because I punched someone a bit like in... <laughs> The world's end, you know, when he punches and it's like blue. I basically went like, ah, get off me! And he's like, head went like that, and like a bit of blue stuff was like here. It wasn't blue. What I, it was like nothing, Kate. Like he snapped his neck, and what I, I was just thinking about the film. And he was like this, and they went, <coughs> and then grabbed me. And then I don't remember the rest, and it's terrifying. It's made me stay up for the whole freaking week. I can't go to sleep, bro. I'm like, I'm not sleep. I'm not dealing with that. And then, to my delight, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, a man I, I have to admit, I find quite funny. I, uh, my dad used to tell me, how many films have you watched? And he, this is literally the epitome of an evil multi-billionaire who's going to turn on the world and, you know, want it for himself. I was like, Elon Musk is different. Right? I hope so. I mean, he bought Twitter for free speech, which I think is a big dub, so well done. And now, I'm not even kidding, he's he's making, like, mobile prostitution fucking brothels, mate. Look at that. That is just a walking brothel, a driving brothel, I mean, on the street. I mean, fuck. And he was like, if you want to take people to sports games, yeah, sports games, bro. I'm just off to a sports game with the lads. Yeah, don't worry, I'll be back for tea. Little do they know. But what really made the hairs on the back of my spine tingle like Peter Parker whenever someone evils round on a bridge. Robots with a cowboy hat pouring drinks. Ah! It just spoke! Do you want to get a photo? Bro. And then he said they, they're going to be used for labouring and, like, doing manual work. You know, helping around the house. Bruh! This is fucking nuts. This is, like, end game. This is done. We are going to be done. And now Kamala Harris, when they want to arrest Elon Musk, if Donald Trump doesn't win, he's going to have an army of robots to defend him, like, fucking Fallout New Vegas, bro. It's going to be fucking sick. I'd love to see that battle. But anyway, back to scary shit. Do you want to get a photo so he knows what's going on around him? He knows these guys want a photo or are like talking, he can hear it, his sensor going ding 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 ding. Bro. Elon Musk is basically ruining people's jobs. You know when you like just want a part-time job when you're in uni or something, you just want to get enough money for beers and you become a bartender? No more. You know when you're young and you do a bit of heavy labour in construction work? You won't be needed because these dudes in cowboy hats are going to be doing your job for you. I mean, this is. All right. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Doing good. I think, uh, Peace, everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I'm like. Like, like freaking out as like a, a, a little kid wanting eight robots to be real and cool and like he could have a conversation with you like you could have one in your house like i'm actually feeling a bit like overwhelmed but i'm also the cynical motherfucker who thinks the world is going to end you know every single day by another means and these are literally in every film gonna fucking end us bro humans are just making things that are going to destroy us and here is a prime example i love it i would want a robot walking around my house cleaning my shit hey yo Hey, yo, robot man, I got some dishes in the bag, homie. Clean them. But then I feel bad. I was like, this guy's part of the family, you know what I mean? And he's just doing all, he's just basically my bitch. He's my side hoe, you know what I mean? He's like, clean up. Hoover. You know what I mean? Look after the kid. Take the dog out for a while. Like, we are going to become so fat and lazy. And honestly, we, and guess how much they cost? Twenty to $30,000. Now, I know that's a lot of money, but affordable with PayPal paying three. <laughs> You could easily, you know what I mean, split it over a month or something. And there'll be finance options like a car. I hate this. He's just waving, he's making drinks. How am I doing so far? Killing it. How am I doing so far? Imagine if it was all a prank and he just took off the costume. He was like, hey guys, I was joking. <laughs> Fuck, I'm scared. Cool name though. Look at it, Optimus. <laughs> He's dancing. I mean, look at that. That is like scary, evil Nazi walk in Star Wars where they like walk. Straight line. You know what I mean? Fuck. He's playing rock, paper, scissors. 
This is gonna be fucking nuts. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. He's playing rock, paper, scissors. He's pouring drinks. Where was the other one? I saw like a strip club where they were all dancing in the middle. And literally, you know, and then he gets in this. Did you see the robo taxi as well? That was pretty cool. A driverless, uh, a driverless taxi. You know what I mean? Fuck Uber. They're about to be replaced. Quick. He doesn't, <laughs> he's, not, like, he's gonna be driving no steering wheel. Like, Bro, imagine in like 20 years time, you know, we're all old and humans are banned from driving. Like, just humans cannot drive. We're, it's illegal for us to have a steering wheel because just, you know, it's safer for AI. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Anyway, this is the end of the world, bro. I love that I can get a robot to pour me drinks, but it's going to ruin people's jobs. It's going to probably ruin people's lives. And when eventually, and eventually it will happen, the AI develops so much. You know what I mean? Because it's only going to get better. Only going to... Imagine how quickly it's advanced in one year. Imagine what it's like in five years. Five years. It's going to advance so quickly. I don't know. Maybe they start thinking for themselves. You know, Terminator classic. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. Humans are the biggest threat to the nation. We must terminate. You know what I mean? Or maybe they just come really chill dudes and just start smoking dope and just sitting in the corner drinking beer and just get really depressed like humans. We don't know the answer. But we're going to find it out in a matter of years.